Hello, my name is Vadim, and today I'll be teaching you how to record MIDI for virtual instrument in Reaper. So, here we have a Reaper window. In order to record a, vir a virtual instrument, we got to create a track, like this one. But we don't use this at the moment. So, for creating track, we need to insert track, or we can use a shortcut Control T. We can just double click here in the TCP area. Just double click. Another option for instrument track is to use the right button and to insert virtual instrument on your track. In this case, all you need is to select your virtual instrument and Reaper creates all the routings for you automatically. We would like this if we would work like professionals, but in this case I will configure all manually. So we have a new track. We need to do at the moment is to select a virtual instrument. I'll use Rapture. I'm going to record bass, so I select bass I'd like to record. I name a track bass because it is what I'm going to record. So in Reaper any track can be anything. It can be audio, MIDI, bus, folder, etc. And even can be video. But to make it MIDI, all we need to do is to select a correct input. In this case I would I'd select a virtual MIDI keyboard but uh, I suggest you to select all MIDI inputs. That's how I'm doing because uh, there are moments when I use uh, two controllers simultaneously. So I just like that. But you can select only your interface. So we have input set correctly, and we have a synthesizer as the heart of our of this process. Moreover, I encourage you to see this image. It explains how, the si how this all system works. So we have a synthesizer as our heart. We will have MIDI signals as uh, incoming messages into a synthesizer, into Rapture. In this case, we'll use virtual MIDI keyboard from Reaper, because I'd like you to see all that happens on the screen. But you can use your interface. These uh, MIDI signals will be triggering nodes in the Rapture and will be making a, and this and the Rapture will make a signal which we can perceive as an audio. So, in order to listen to it, we need to put this on record enabled and monitor input. What we need to do at this moment? Well, we would like to enable virtual MIDI in keyboard with Alt B or from a menu. Here is our MIDI keyboard. We see here a little K notes. So if I press this, I can just press N on my key on my laptop. It is the same. I just like you to know that there is a option send all keyboard inputs to virtual MIDI keyboard. I like it because if I accidentally lose a focus, I can still trigger virtual MIDI keyboard with my real not, uh, notebook keyboard. I hear the bass, yes? And all we need to do at the moment is to turn the volume down like 50 decibels because the sound is really fat. Well, we have a little project here. It consists of drums and a pad, a synth pad, and we need to record a bass. So we're going to record it. But before, we'll configure our metronome track. In Reaper, doesn't exist uh, meaning the metronome track, but uh, metronome can be set in very different, um, very different configurations. I I'd like you to show. Uh, two important things. They are pre-roll and counting. They are doing like like the same 
but they are almost the same. Counting is the pre-roll only for uh, hearing the metronome and the pre-roll is the pre-roll itself for hearing metronome and the background signals. So let me explain. If we enable metronome and select counting before playback one measure so if you'd like to record from the fifth well record listen from the fifth it will be uh, start uh, it will start from the fourth and one bar will be only metronome sound listen to that the pre-roll is a little bit different it uh, it permits us to monitor not only metronome but a track itself during this uh, ba during this bar. You can use any of them. You can not use them if you'd like to. I just suggest you to run metronome during recording, especially if you don't have a rhythmic rhythmic track. I have one, but I can enable a metronome for recording for this track. Well, we need to record from measure 1. And I said pre-roll one bar. That means that I will have one bar before it actually can, uh, will come to record. So I just hit record button and we'll start the recording. recorded a basic MIDI so we save it and here is what we have recorded we recorded just a couple of notes MIDI notes we can conf we can uh, change them and the first thing I'd like to change is the position of notes you see these notes are playing not so good they are a little bit off the grid so to put them on the grid correctly we can use a quantize button if we press it here we can select uh, between a bunch of options so we can quantize all notes we can quantize selected ones if we have some serious performance so at this case I'll select all notes I'm I'll quantize not only the position but the end of note we could all quantize a note length and set it to different settings but this is not my case so I'll quantize all notes to position and note end in this case I'll select a 1 16th note so it is very good for my purpose and if we have something that going off the grid like this note I can uh, I can move it a little bit. I also can move this note like here and this note up to here. So we have our bass part recorded well very nicely I'd say. That was before that was after quantizing. Before after before after we got like uh, more mm, more correctly notes the notes are situated in their in their right positions the quantizing isn't isn't a very mm, isn't a magical thing but you can use it to improve your performance especially for like bass parts and some not so very technical not so very complicated signals so what we have is this baseline and check it out <laughs> to sum it 
setup we have recorded MIDI for virtual instrument in Reaper this is a skin we had synthesizer as our heart we have MIDI signals from our virtual MIDI keyboard going into Rapture and Rapture will generate a sound we can perceive and mix it out with other instruments to get our music and we have also set the metronome to correspond our settings but in this case I won't be using it because I I have a track a rhythmic track and uh, the last thing we did uh, was uh, to quantize notes to get them really to the grid and to make a baseline uh, baseline uh, more correct and uh, to set it better because if we record with our keyboard and even with our good MIDI keyboard we can actually use mistakes but uh, quantize is really helpful feature so thank you for watching and have a nice day goodbye